All right, here are five things in order to get your day started. Police in Portland are investigating multiple shootings in less than a week's time. Most recently, police say they arrested a man who was firing a gun just randomly down Bolton Street on the corner of Brighton Ave. That happened on Sunday night. Nobody was hurt. Two other shootings happened late Friday and early Saturday at Riverton Park Housing Complex. Police say one woman had to go to Main Medical Center with a gunshot wound. Investigators are asking anybody with any information on any of those shootings to please contact them. Investigators in New Hampshire are trying to figure out what caused a crash that killed four people, three of them from South Berwick. Police in Rollinsford, New Hampshire, say it happened Sunday night on Portland Avenue. They say a car crossed into, into oncoming traffic and hit a minivan head on. The driver of the other car hasn't been, been publicly identified. New details about a fatal stabbing in Sanford. This happened last Friday night on the corner of Bates and Bowdoin Streets. Police say 32 year old Dane Brooks was taken in a private car to the hospital. He ended up dying there on Saturday morning. Police say they are still looking for a suspect. There have been no arrests made yet. A new report is shedding light on Maine's struggle to find attorneys to defend clients who can't afford one. According to the Maine Monitor, 33 lawyers are managing almost half of the state's 23,000 open cases. In Maine, private attorneys represent clients who can't afford a lawyer. But fewer attorneys are taking on low-income clients and the number of people in need of a lawyer is going up. Earlier this year, the state legislature approved funding for Maine's first five public defenders. The hiring process for that hasn't started yet. And the board of one Southern Maine school district could pull a controversial library book from its shelves tonight. The book is called It's Perfectly Normal. It talks about puberty, sexual health, gender identity. A group of parents in MSAD 6, which covers towns like Buxton, Hollis, and Standish, say that the themes in the book are pornographic. They want the book out of circulation at Bonnie Eagle Middle and Bonnie Eagle High School. The vote will happen tonight at 6 o'clock. Final check of the weather before we get out of here. Yeah, this day and this week going to start out wet, but I promise you it won't end that way today. Showers, cool temperatures, lots of clouds in the 60s, and then we get into more and more sunshine as the week progresses. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, summer's not through around here, folks. We're going to be in the lower to mid 80s over the weekend. It won't be including the humidity like we had back in August, but for this time of the year to hit mid 80s, that's pretty it's toasty. Nice. Three we'll, more days till the weekend. Yeah, lots Just of Just in case here. you didn't get anything done this summer. You know? <laughs> Although, what was your excuse? Because it was gorgeous. It was yeah. gorgeous. A lot of playing. A lot of playing going. So try to enjoy the day. Flowers are getting what they need. <laughs>